Hey everyone, I'm Trevor, and today we are at Disney California Adventure for a crowd update. It is the start of the Halloween season, Saturday, August 24th, and so I want to see how busy the park is. So let's get going. And we're actually going to start right here, right here, outside the Ferris wheel, outside Mickey's death wheel. I don't usually like start the second I film an intro video. Oftentimes intro videos are filmed at random other times throughout the day because I, I, I don't know why. But uh, anyhow, we're going to start walking from right here. This is kind of a empty path down here. Not a whole lot of cause for people to come down this way. Golden Zephyr does not appear to be running. I don't see anybody in it. I don't see anybody moving. Uh, probably a bit windy. Feels a little windy. And anytime it's windy, Golden Zephyr is going to close. Little Mermaid here, we can look on the app to see what the wait time is, but uh, the, the line for Little Mermaid is wrapping down here and it's using a good chunk of the extended queue. You can see the, the people over there, that's the extended queue for Little Mermaid. It could uh, obviously go further. They've got it roped off all the way up to here, not using all of that, but still quite filled. Uh, I would say like 30 plus minutes for Little Mermaid, if I had to guess. The posted wait time for Little Mermaid is 10. What a joke. <laughs> to have the line that long? No. No, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't, maybe 20, 25 if there's like no lightning laners and people are just moving. But that's, I mean, they're using the extended queue. Disneyland Park itself, uh, we filmed that video not just like an hour or two ago. I'll tell you the official time in a minute here. Can't look at it when I'm actively filming, but uh, Jumpin' Jellyfish doesn't look too bad over there. Disneyland was amazing. Disneyland was phenomenal. What is going on? Uh, now we've also got Goofy Sky School closed. So maybe that's why Little Mermaid, maybe it was 10 minutes and then Golden Zephyr went down and uh, Goofy Sky School went down. Oh, it is testing. I can see the vehicles moving. So uh, this should open again shortly. And if it does, it'll be a fairly short wait because this is all the people that are waiting for it, like 10 people. Uh, it would, it, it'll go quick. It is 2.14 in the afternoon on Saturday, August 24th. Uh, even though the crowd update videos go on at two separate days. I film them usually back to back. Uh, I just film the Disneyland one, then I pop over here and I film the Disney California Adventure one. Uh, I, I would think about merging the two and just having a single video about this, but it would be really long. Like I feel like the Disneyland one is probably gonna be 40 minutes all by itself, just all the stuff that we had uh, to talk about today. I could be wrong. Maybe it's shorter than I think, but uh, I don't want a, a super duper long one. So we make a Disney, Disney California Adventure its own video. Walkways here are pretty amazing. Walkways nice and wide open. Much better than the walkways over at Disneyland if you saw that video. If you didn't, I'll put a link to it at the end of this video in the end screen. So you can just click that video and watch it next. But looking pretty good here at Disney California Adventure. Silly Symphony Swing says 15 minute wait. I don't believe it. Even though that the line's sticking out there, it's like 10 max, 10. Like, yeah, it, it's it's not long. Emotional whirlwind. It's lifting off. <laughs> Ooh, 30 minutes, that's a big one. That is possible but I still think it's over exaggerated again I don't usually wait in the, this ride when it's this long so it could be 30 minutes but yeah actually that's yeah it's probably accurate emotional whirlwind is like Dumbo it's a slow loader there goes in credit coaster any characters out oh we got anger this is this is the first is this the first time I've seen anger how short do you have to be to fit in this character costume? Wow. Okay, probably not terribly because the flames do go up to about my height, uh, give or take. That's the first time that I've seen, the first time that I've seen anger. Pixar Pal Around. Listed at 30 for both uh, non-swinging, which is over here on the left, and the swinging, which is the line over here on the right. Uh, could be fairly accurate as a reminder because the swingings uh, go left and right, which means it splits up there, whereas the uh, non-swingings only has the center carriage. So you see how there's a carriage over there and there's a carriage over there, gondola I should say. 
two gondolas, those are swinging, and the center gondola is a non-swinging. Toy Story Midway Mania, we're not looking at the wait time. We're gonna just eyeball the line, and it honestly looks really good. Looks really good. Not very much of the outdoor queue here, going right inside. I'm sure the indoor queue is completely full, but even so, um, I say, I'm going to guess 25, but I'm going to say 30 max. Posted at 45, seems a little high to me, looking at the line. The line looks really good. I'd get in line for that. It's Buzz and Bo Peep, seeing all sorts of characters here today. Let's take a look at some of the walkways here on Pixar Pier. Uh, we just passed through a fairly congested point. I don't like to film when it's congested. I'm trying to show you the crowds. I want you to be able to see the crowds. One of the things that I loved about watching YouTube videos of Walt Disney World when we were planning our trips was trying to gauge how busy the park was. And I always wished that a YouTuber would have a video just showing me the crowds, show me the walkways, show me the wait times. And so that's why we do this series. I do one, do it once a month, and I'm sorry if you find these videos overly repetitive at times, but I mean, every single season is a little different. Every month is a little different. I want you to be able to say, hey, I'm coming in August, or I'm coming in September. How busy is the park? Are there some boots on the ground videos where I can just watch a video and I can see what it is like? And so that's what we're doing here today. In Credit Coaster posted at a 30 minute wait. I uh, can't really see the queue very much from here. So let's go around. Fairly empty down here. We did pass over by Jesse's Critter Carousel. I doubt anybody cares. It's always a five minute wait. The worst that ever is is 10. So the, yeah, it's not even really worth checking. But in Credit Coaster, so the lower line not filled, upper here filled 30 minutes, I think we said was the posted wait time, probably pretty accurate. Again, I'd probably get in line for in Credit Coaster at 30 minutes. 35 minutes is like my max. When rides push past 35 minutes, unless it's a special ride like Rise of the Resistance or Radiator Springs Racers, there are, there are limits to um, my 35 minute rule. But personally, I don't like to get in lines that are longer than 35 minutes. And you will say, well, Trevor, you, know, you can afford to do that rule because you're a local and you come back all the time. And that may be true to an extent, like if you're coming during spring break when it is its absolute busiest. But in general, if you know when to ride the rides at the right time of the day, you can avoid even waiting longer than 35 minutes for Rise of the Resistance. Now, granted, about 50% of the year, 45 minutes is the minimum, but I've seen it as low as 35 before. In fact, I saw it posted at 15 this morning. Isn't that insane? So a lot of the times, the reason why I have that 35 minute rule is because I know that riding a particular ride at two or three in the afternoon, like it is right now, not a good decision when you should be riding that ride at eight or nine in the morning. And then those rides that tend to not get super long waits, those are the ones that you should be riding right now. So for instance, my strategy for Disney California Adventure would be to hit the bigger rides like Toy Story Midway Mania, Incredit Coaster, Spider-Man Web Slingers, um, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. Hit all of those in the first like two hours that the park is open. And then later on at this time of day, you can be riding rides like uh, The Little Mermaid, Major's Junkyard Jamboree, and uh, things like that that tend to max out at the 30 minute mark so that you're never really waiting more than 30 minutes for an attraction. Otherwise, Guardians of the Galaxy over there, uh, at this time of the day, uh, I'd be surprised if it's anything less than 60, but it's probably pushing 80. Actually, it's probably closed right now, and I'll explain why in a minute. We'll uh, hit up Guardians of the Galaxy and everything on that side of the park in just a moment. Uh, we're gonna walk down towards Grizzly Peak Recreation Area right now, and we'll circle back and we'll talk about why it's closed at the moment, if you don't already know, uh, because it is 2.30 in the afternoon currently. And it will predictably always be closed at 2.30 in the afternoon during this time of year. What I'd be curious to find out is if there is a line queued up to get on the attraction, or if they're not even letting a line form right now. The main pathway through Grizzly Peak Recreation Area goes to the left over towards the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail and the entrance to Grizzly River Run. But we actually want to head down this way to Grizzly Peak Pass. It's a little quieter, 
And if this area back here is crowded, then you know the other area is crowded too. But uh, I just like it because it's quieter, but it also allows us to see the queue for Grizzly River Run. Today is a high of 81 degrees. It's not bad, actually. Now, here we go. We're walking by Grizzly, 81 degrees. Not the hottest that it can be, but um, I'm still expecting Grizzly's line to be long all the same. It's the only water ride at the moment in both Disneyland and Disney California Adventure. So anyone wanting any bit of a reprieve from the sun and the heat, come into Grizzly River Run. Single rider, if you didn't see my single rider video, single rider is an excellent way to ride Grizzly River Run if you don't mind splitting up your group. The fact remains they're not using the extended queue over here off to our left. That means it's not as bad as it could be. I've seen it worse in the last couple of uh, weeks, months, where this has been filled. So this isn't too bad. Again, still couldn't guess. I don't know the last time that I did standby. I always either use a lightning lane or a single rider line now. Let's take a stab in the dark and say 35. Woo, I was wrong. 20 minutes. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. That is great. Popped back out here to the main pathways. Bit busier out here, of course. Still lots of space. I mean, look at all this. Look at all this space. Lots of walking space. Let's pop in the back end here of Soren. See if we can guess, guess the line over this way. Hmm. Forty. Let's just let's go forty. Forty-five. Forty to forty-five. And when we make it around here to the front of the attraction, it says that it is. You probably can't see it because those screens hate me. It says thirty-five minutes. Thirty-five. So better than I expected. The line does appear to me moving pretty quickly. Poke over here to the lightning lane, and the lightning lane area is not full, uh, which means the standby is moving pretty good. As we enter the main hub area here outside of Carthay Circle, looking pretty good, looking pretty empty, lots of room to walk around. That's always a good sign. We are going to head down Sunset Boulevard that direction, just going to hop on the other side of the fountain here. We'll peek down, I don't even know what this road is supposed to be called, just the, the main pathway down into all the lands. Definitely a lot of people coming out of there, but not, not too bad. I, I feel like Disney California Adventure is definitely looking better, better than Disneyland in terms of the walkways. Definitely in terms of the walkways. Wide open spaces. Wide open spaces. Time to poke over here to Hollywood Studios. Check on Monsters, Inc. It's like, what are people waiting outside for? It's usually not a good sign. What are we waiting outside for? I don't, I don't see anything. I don't see anything going on. It's a 25 minute wait. I don't know. The line is sticking out uh, behind the bushes here actually coming towards us. So when you see the Hollywood lounge here, the you see that row of bushes, most of the queue is on the other side of that. The fact that the line is sticking out over here does not bode well, but maybe they just don't have most of the queue currently filled up. If it is indeed a 25 minute wait, uh, that's actually pretty solid. Ooh, look at the studio catering company all decked out for Halloween. It's Halloween, Halloween, everybody. No, it's not, no, it's not, not for two months. What was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, I was saying that Monsters at 25 is pretty solid. I'd expect it to be 40 to 45 this time of the afternoon. So if it's 25, that's pretty solid. Hop in line, definitely. We are seeing some uh, average to lower wait times here at Disney California Adventure, just like we were over at Disneyland. I felt like the Disneyland lines were a little bit more like unbelievably miraculous than over here at Disney California Adventure. However, now approaching Guardians of the Galaxy, why did I say that it would be closed predictably at 2.30 every single day? Well, through the Halloween season, they have a special overlay called Monsters After Dark, and the ride closes at 2 p.m. and does not reopen again until 3 p.m. as the Monsters After Dark version. So you can ride the regular version up until 2 p.m., then the ride closes for an hour, and after 3 p.m. it reopens as Monsters After Dark. 
and it does look like they are starting to let people in the queue already. Um, so, oh man, the queue is filled. The queue is filled. I wonder if they, I wonder if they've just let people stand there. Cause that, I mean, that is, yeah, that's full. It's not like it, you know, they didn't let anybody in until three. It's completely full. It is currently only 2.42 PM. So I wonder, now I'm wondering, I'm wondering if it reopens early. Like it's just, that it says an hour, but it'll reopen early if the switchover is, is done. Mm, no, there's no wait time posted. So I don't, yeah, I don't think it's open yet. I think they're just letting people line up. That's just the, the bottom line. Here's the sign for it. Monsters after dark, generator out, cages open, creatures loose, enter at your own risk. I should say at your own R because somebody took a bite out of this sign. Never mind. 2.43 p.m. A cast member just walked out of the ride and told these other cast members, okay, the monsters are loose. So I guess that means that it just opened. And while we wait for the standby wait to be posted, either outside or on the mobile app, we're just gonna keep walking through our crowd update over here in Avengers Campus and go to Spider-Man Web Slingers. Well, I can tell you right now, as we approach Web Slingers, it looks really great because this portion of the queue is not even being used. It does say 40 minutes standby, however. And I guess that all depends on the lightning lane here. They do have a single rider line and that's the line that I'm standing in right now. Uh, lightning lane over there off to the left. Actually doesn't look too bad. Single rider straight ahead. Quite a few people in the single rider line. I mean, not like terrible, mind you, but um, this isn't like the fastest single rider ever, but it's not bad either. We used it and it's pretty nice. I can't see how much of the space behind this wall is being used, but I still want to say it's not 40. I want to say it's, it's 30, 30 at the worst. That's my guess. Another recommendation for you folk who like to plan and look at wait times and things like that before your trip. Uh, this type of video helps you plan for future trips, but if you have one coming up, my recommendation to you is to download the Disneyland app if you don't have it already, and to regularly check the wait times about a week before your trip. You know, poke on the app uh, at different times throughout the day, different days throughout the week, and just check. What are the wait times like today? Oh, is, does it look, you know, insanely high? Does it look pretty manageable? Uh, the more you look at the wait times on the app, the more you'll get a feel for how long these lines should be. And then you also get a feel for how long the lines will most likely be on your trip. Because if you look in the week beforehand, uh, wait times aren't gonna adjust too much from week to week unless special things are happening like major holidays uh, or something like, you know, this weekend where a whole new season changes and that draws in a whole bunch of people as well. We are walking the back way through here to Cars at the moment. Luigi's Rollick and Roaster is currently set up as Luigi's Honkin' Halloween the Halloween overlay version of this attraction. Uh, all they do is change the color of the flags here, change what's on the wall, the honkin' Halloween, and then they have a uh, Halloween music here. They're doing their spin cycle, my favorite part of the ride, which means it's almost over. Bam, done. Um, the, the line over here going into the room, so it's a, like a minimum 30 minutes. Anytime it goes into the building, it's a minimum of 30 minutes. Probably 40. I feel like this ride's always 40. It's just the average. Well, let's check the sign, and it is, whoa, really? Only 20? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. If the line is, if the line is in this room, I, I, don't, I don't think that's 20. I think I just heard him go, okay. I think, I think I heard that. I love Guido, he's my favorite. Get to see some Halloween decorations as we're walking around. They got uh, Stanley over here in a witch's hat, or rather I should say, it's a cone, a black cone. <laughs> uh, at night, these windows light up up here. They're really great. I like this area at night. Radiator Springs Racers posted at a 90 minute wait, 90 minutes. 90 minutes pretty average for the standby wait. Of course, we're gonna do what we always do. We're gonna go see how long the single rider line is because this is the way that you should be riding this attraction. Just about everybody should probably ride this attraction, single rider, in order to, well, not everybody. Uh, there needs to be people in that line. <laughs> if there aren't people in that line, the single rider won't work. 
So, yes, there definitely needs to be people in the standby. But those of you who are in the know, going the single rider line is usually one of the best ways to go. And what are we looking at? Okay, so it's at the bridge. Um, it's like 20 minutes max. I bet you this is 20 minutes single rider, max. 20 minutes or 90 minutes, you pick what you prefer. I'm gonna take the 20 every single time. And just as soon as Benjamin is seven years old, you better believe that we will be riding this way more often than we do. Uh, I wish we could ride it more often than we do. I'm not waiting 90 minutes though. Never been willing to wait that for any type of attraction, no matter how much I love it. Cozy Cone's all decked out for Halloween too. They uh, have special Halloween characters that will come out like Mater and uh, Lightning McQueen and things like that, all dressed up in Halloween costumes. Red in his clown costume, Mater in his vampire costume. They'll usually do meet and greets right there. Route 66, one of the busiest areas of the whole park from what we've seen. Lots of people up and down this pathway. And the last ride that we needed to check on, Mater's Graveyard Jamboree. Posted at a 15 minute wait on the sign outside. I believe it. The line looks fairly manageable. It does go all the way back there, but it's just a single all the way there and back. It's not like it's, you know, double backed a couple of times. So uh, it does look fairly short. It looks like they've also got both sides running. That's another uh, thing to consider. They do have one set of vehicles over there and another set of vehicles right here. Sometimes they only have one side running. If one side is broken, then it slows things down. Uh, it would. It, this line would easily be like a 35 minute wait if that were the case, but um, 15 minutes is believable, I would say, for Mater's Junkyard Jamboree. I just checked the Disneyland app to see if Guardians of the Galaxy had a posted standby wait time. It does not still at 2.57 p.m. However, I have seen uh, the elevator doors open and take photos. Uh, so I know that the ride is actually running. Didn't see whether there were people on it, of course. So it could just be in the testing phase. And maybe they, you know, didn't start it up before 3 o'clock. But uh, I did see the ride in motion. Who knows? There were still lots of people in line. So, if, if, I mean, if you want to stand by it, I don't know if I'd be willing to wait. I don't know if I'd be willing to wait when the ride's not even open. But lots of people clearly were. You got to think if the ride really doesn't open until 3 o'clock and, and you're there right at 2 when they close it and you're staying in line, you're waiting a minimum of 60 minutes and then, you know, you've got however many people are in front of you too. Now this sign says 90 minutes. I don't know why I didn't say it on the app, but this sign says 90 minutes. Well, I'm hanging out here at Long Term Parking and uh, that's Mater's version of the tombstones outside of Haunted Mansion. There's a another one right there that says no outlet <laughs> anyway I feel like I need some long-term parking I am uh, tired here today and that's gonna be it for this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button on the way out got questions I hopefully have answers for you drop them in the comments below I'm always happy to answer them click this video to check out the Disneyland crowd update as we mentioned earlier you can keep watching thanks for watching and we will see you again next time